Hello. In this session, we are going to look at the apply stage. Uh, now we can make use of this apply stage to create the resources. So at any point, if you want to execute the code, if you want to create the resources, we make use of this apply stage. Now in the last session, we discussed about the plan stage, which can be used to verify or uh, preview the changes or the resources that Terraform is going to create for us. In this session, we will look at how we can execute that code so that Terraform will create those resources for us. Once again, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get started with this. Now, once you're satisfied with the plan, so whatever the plan, so let's say for example, here I'll run this Terraform plan command. And if you're satisfied with this plan, you can go ahead and execute this plan to create the resources for us. All right. So uh, you can create the infrastructure in this state. So for this, we make use of the Terraform apply command. So at any point, if you want to create those resources, we make use of the Terraform apply command. Now what this will do is, this will also uh, generate a Terraform plan for us. So uh, here when I run this Terraform apply, this will also create a plan where we can review or we can verify the uh, plan. And if you're okay with this, we can go ahead and execute it, all right? So this will also generate a proposed uh, plan and we can use this to deploy the infrastructure. Now, when you run this command, Terraform will automatically create a new execution plan as if you had run the Terraform plan command over here. All right. Now, this will prompt you to approve the plan explicitly. So here you can see, do you want to perform these actions? And Terraform will perform this action described above. Only S will be accepted to approve. So basically, uh, Terraform apply command will generate a plan for us and then this will wait for us to approve this. So we'll have to explicitly type in yes. So here at the bottom, it is asking us to enter a value. So here you'll have to type in yes. That is our, uh, a way for us to give approval to Terraform to create the resources. So type in yes, hit enter and this will start creating the resources for us. So here at the bottom you can see AWS underscore instance. So this is the resource type and example underscore instance is the local name and this is creator. Now this will take some time. So basically what this is doing is this is launching an EC2 instance for us on the AWS console. So here if you come to the AWS console and if I refresh this, we should be able to see a new instance coming up. So you can see here teacher.medium, this is what I've given. And you can also validate the AMI if it is using the right AMI or not. So give it a few seconds or a few minutes and Terraform will launch this resource. So you can see now the status, it says running. And now if you look at the output, so you can see it took about 40 seconds and this has created one instance for you. Now you can validate if it has, uh, you know, which instance it has created by using the instance ID. So this is the instance ID. We'll take that and if we search for this you can see there is the instance so this is the instance that terraform has launched for us so like this at any point if you want to create your resources we make it we make we can make use of the terraform apply command which will generate the plan uh, ask for an approval once we give the approval terraform will start creating those resources for us so depending on your provider that you are using in our case we are using aws so this will launch an ec2 instance on the aws platform for us and here this is what we are seeing so that's what your terraform apply command is so at any point if you want to create the resources on aws uh, or any cloud provider basically if you want to execute the terraform code that you have written we can make use of this terraform apply command that's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.